before we start the implementation in the editor i want to show you certain commands in the ipython uh, console so that it becomes easier for you to understand uh, these commands when i write there in the editor i basically want to show you some intermediate uh, results so it will be easier for you to understand so let me ask you what is our aim our aim is to have a grid then we have to put people on the cells of the script then we have to identify the the nodes which are the people which are unsatisfied and then we have to move these unsatisfied people to different locations that is what is the crux now what is the first step the first step is we want the grid right so how do we get the grid is there any network x function that can help us to get the grid uh, so apparently we have this function grid 2d graph which we can make use of uh, although uh, not to suit our complete purpose but we can uh, make changes into that and then basically we can manipulate that so let's get started i'll start my ipython console and let's import okay so let's create a 10 cross 10 grid so i'll take n to be 10 and then i'll use the function so i'll write nx dot grid 2d graph okay and we want it to be n cross n that is a 10 cross 10 in this case okay so this is the function that we will use let me show how it looks like so i need to show i need to show that so i need to import uh, matplotlib dot pyplot as plt so i write and next dot draw g and plt dot show okay so this is how it looks like uh, obviously it's not looking so good it's not even looking like a grid of uh, but but it is a grid uh, although it's not uh, it's not looking uh, like the way we want to show it so we might need to make some changes into it let's see what kind of changes we can make here i am going to close it the graph is not looking so nice uh, because the nodes are not uh, displayed in the form of a grid apparently we don't have any grid layout in network x so we might need to uh, manually uh, assign the positions to the grid, to the uh, to the nodes now how can we do that before i tell you that let me show you uh, the nodes uh, of this graph so i'll write g dot nodes now there's something different here uh, in the other kinds of graphs we we get either some number or some user defined string as as the label of of the nodes but here see i wrote uh, g dot nodes and what i'm getting is uh, i'm getting a tuple for every node and the tuple consists of two values which is uh, basically the row number and the column number of that node so basically it it is like a grid but it's just that it's not looking like a grid uh, so we might need to display it accordingly uh, we might need to assign uh, appropriate positioning to every node so i'll show you how we can do that uh, please note that uh, we are getting uh, both x and y positions uh, which are relative positions uh, of these nodes with respect to each other so what we can do is i'll write uh, n comma n for n in g dot nodes or uh, since we have used n uh, capital n already maybe i should use small n okay uh, so what i'll write is i'll i'll convert this into a dictionary and i will assign that dictionary to a variable say pause okay let me explain you what i have done so these are g dot nodes as you can see please note the pattern of the nodes that we're getting here so this 8 comma 8 for example will be n will be one n so what i'm doing here for n in g dot nodes that is for all these uh, tuples i am writing n comma n so i'm i'm creating a tuple where there are two n's n comma n so it will be like 8 8 comma 8 8 okay what i'm doing is for a node i'm i'm fixing its position which is the same as its label 
right so uh, and after that i'm converting that into dictionary because that's how we pass uh, the the parameter that we pass should be in the form of dictionary so this dict function this is the function uh, in python uh, what it does is uh, it converts a tuple into a dictionary where the first value of the tuple will be the key and the second value of the tuple will be the value uh, value of the dictionary so this pause this is the positioning that we have uh, fixed and we can assign uh, the, these positions to the nodes now how we can do that is uh, we we call this function index dot draw g uh, we can pass this uh, positioning here and then we can write uh, pld dot show all right this looks beautiful now isn't it uh, right, so uh, as you can see, we are getting the grid. Uh, another thing that we have to note here is that the labels are not looking so nice. Um, one thing that you should note here is that 00, zero is here and in the bottom left corner and it goes like this 00, zero, 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 one, zero, two, zero, 3 and then comes back from 1011 one, one, and so on. So this is the default. Uh, sequencing of the nodes that this function provides that we used uh, what uh, grid 2d graph if you want you can change this label uh, in such a way that 00, zero appears here uh, but I, I don't think we need that so we'll uh, let it be like this but one thing that we would want to do is that we would want to change the label uh, basically we have 10 cross 10 that is 100 nodes here and it'll be nice if we assign them no, uh, labels like 0 to 0 1 2 3 up to 99 so that is one thing that we would like to do here. Now let me show you how we can do that. Uh, again, we will assign a, a different label to every node. Now the 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 name of the node itself carries the the row and column number. Uh, that is what we will be using in order to to assign the uh, the label. So the zero zero should be should be having a label zero. Zero one should be having a label one and so on 0 1 2 3 4 up to 10 uh, uh, no 0 up to 9 and then 10 should be here then 11 and so on so this is how we have to assign the the labels now how can we do that uh, if you know a little math you you should be able to understand what i'm doing so what i'll do is i comma j uh, to i comma j what i'm assigning is i into 10 plus j this is what I'm assigning to the first node and to the ijth node. Uh, this I will do for every node. So I'll write for ij in g dot nodes. And again, I'll convert this into a dictionary. So I'll use the same function. And let me call this dictionary labels. I'll write this should work. So what I'm doing here is that to every uh, node, which is ij like here like 4 3 i am assigning a label which is i into 10 plus j in, in the case of uh, 4 comma 3 it, it will be 43 so that label i am assigning to every node and that information i am keeping in the form of a dictionary in this uh, dictionary called labels which i am going to use so uh, let me show you how we can do that so we used nx dot draw previously um, which displays some uh, labels by default which is the labels that i showed you just now we don't want those labels to be displayed so what i'll write is with labels is equal to false right so the labels that it was showing will not be visible um, uh, you can check that as well if you i can quickly show you so there are no labels displayed here uh, okay now uh, we want to display our own labels for that we have a function nx dot draw network x labels now again we have to pass the graph we have to pass the positioning and then we have to pass the labels dictionary uh, labels dictionary okay this is how we write labels is equal to labels okay this should work now the labels have the new labels have been assigned let us display them oh yeah this looks nice now so we have the labels from 0 1 2 3 up to 99 so it'll be nice to refer to them when we uh, do the later later manipulations okay now one thing that is important to note here is that i told uh, in the explanation of scaling model that every node which is an internal node that is not on the boundary should have eight neighbors right now here if you look at this node number 45 it has 
It has only four uh, neighbors. It is not neighbors with the diagonal uh, nodes as you can see. So this is the kind of grid that uh, the function provides us by default. But this is not serving our purpose. Our purpose is that uh, this 45 should be connected to 56 as well as in all these four nodes 36, 34, 54 and 56. Now how do we do that? So we would have to add the, the, the edges manually which are not already present here. Now how uh, can we do that? I want to show you the previous uh, representation of the graph uh, because that will help us uh, understand uh, how we can add the edges. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm not going to use this command. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, nx dot draw the the usual function that we were using and this position we were using i would like to display this only okay i am showing you the previous version of the graph for a reason uh, because i want to show you how we can add the edges the diagonal edges now if you look at this one one node we have to uh, connect it to two two this two two has to be connected to three three and if you look at some other node this two six has to be connected to three seven 4, 8, 3, 7 has to be connected to 4, 8. So if you observe carefully, the, the node ij has to be connected to i plus 1, j plus 1. If you look at uh, 6, 7, it has to be connected to 7, 8, which is again uh, i plus 1, j plus 1. Okay. So we will take all the nodes ij and we will connect them to the nodes i plus 1, j plus 1. That should be half of the work done. So let us, uh, let's see. Uh, one thing that we have to note here again is that when we are doing uh, i plus 1, j plus 1, it should never cross the the 9, right? We cannot connect 9, 9 to 10, 10. So that limit we have to take care of. So that we will, uh, we will, uh, we will take care of that thing. Okay. So I'll write for uh, u comma v, let's say, for u v in g dot nodes what do we want to do uv has to be connected to u plus 1 v plus 1 but again we have to take care that u plus 1 and v plus 1 doesn't exist uh, doesn't exceed n minus 1 so i'll write if u plus 1 is less than equal to n minus 1 and uh, the same uh, to be done for v so i will write v plus 1 is less than equal to n minus 1 then only we'll do this uh, otherwise we will not add that edge so i'll write g dot add edge which edge uv edge to u plus one comma v plus one edge okay this should work let's see uh okay let me show you <clears throat> the graph at this stage so i'll write nx dot draw and then i'll write pd dot show yeah so we have uh one uh, we have half of the diagonal edges incorporated already uh, the other direction of uh, the diagonal edges are still uh, yet to be added for example we have to connect this 3 9 to 4 8 4 8 to 5 7 so that has to be done now if you observe carefully 4 6 has to be connected to 5 5 which means uh, u v has to be connected to u plus 1 v minus 1 yeah that that ho that holds true for every node now again one thing that we have to take care of here is that while doing uh, a v minus 1 it should not become less than 0 so that part we will take care of uh, let's see how we can do that i'm going to make changes here itself uh, or here so what i'll do is i'll go back here and if u plus 1 so uv has to be connected to u plus 1 v minus 1 so u plus 1 should be this and v minus 1 should be less than equal to no, should be greater than equal to 0 okay it should not be less than equal so this we have to check and if this is true then we will add an edge from u v to u plus 1 v minus 1 okay this should work uh, i am a little doubtful about the indentation but let me see if it is work if it works fine yeah so so here you see all the edges have been in incorporated all the diagonal edges are there now um, the grid seems complete let me just show you the the labels the updated labels that we recently showed uh, which command we use yeah 
we use this and then we used this one okay yeah let us see <laughs> okay this looks nice so we have the grid we have the diagonal edges we have the nodes now we have set the playground for uh, for playing with these nodes where we will uh, put the people of different types there will be some people of uh, type 0 there will be some people of type 1 there will be some uh, nodes which will be empty we will not put any people there so that is how we are going to start uh, in the next video I will be using all these commands that I have show, shown you already in the IPython console so I will use them in the editor and then we will uh, get started with manipulating the nodes